Keeping your bedroom dresser from becoming a sordid mess can be downright frustrating. Sometimes it's embarrassing, with parts of clothing sticking out of the drawers like a sore thumb. In worst cases, it's harder to pull your drawers out, which can quickly get on your nerves. In this video from SempHome.com, I'll break down 12 surefire ways guaranteed to sort out your dresser or give it the makeover it deserves. The best part is it doesn't have to be complicated and cost you an arm and a leg. 12. Declutter your dresser First things first, you must declutter your dresser. The usual culprit is overstuffing it with items that you don't need and a lack of organization. To help you sort your things out, I suggest that you get four laundry bins or baskets from Walmart or a dollar store. Label them Keep, Relocate, Throw, and Donate. Then you ask yourself which items you want to keep and put them in the container marked Keep. Do the same for the other things that you want to throw away, relocate, or donate. Focus on the task, but don't overthink and overdo it. 11. DIY Mid-Century Modern Dresser Makeover If you don't have a dresser, an affordable solution is to get a cheap old one and give it a makeover. A terrific candidate for this type of project is one of those mid-century modern dressers with timeless appeal. You can go for a two-tone color scheme to give it more character and make it stand out more. For the body, a chalk paint finish would give your dresser some rustic charm. To save on money, try looking for DIY versions of this paint online. On the drawer faces, apply several coats of dark gel stain. After rubbing the metal handles with metal polish, you'll have a brand new looking dresser in your bedroom. 10. How to properly deal with your top, middle, and bottom drawers Decide what you will go into each drawer and purge any other items that you'll no longer use. You could follow a system where all your everyday clothing will be in the top drawer. It would be items such as pajama pants, pajama tops, light shirts, boxers, and shorts that you can separate into neatly folded piles. Rolling some items like shorts and leggings can save space. The middle drawer could be for casual wear like t-shirts and tank tops, long sleeve shirts, and bulky sweaters. The bottom drawer could be exclusively for your pants and jeans. The most important thing is to discard any item that you don't use to maximize your dresser's space. 9. Fold clothes vertically It makes more sense to fold your clothes vertically than to pile it up in a neat stack. Remember when you try to pick a shirt and the one you like happens to be near the bottom? You'll most likely mess up all the other shirts when you try to get it. Folding your shirts vertically and storing them in a neat row could make it more convenient to pick those that you want. It's even better if you use a divider when organizing your clothes this way. Just make sure to fold similar items the same width. 8. How to Marie Kondo Style Your Baby Clothes and Kids Clothes Another storage solution that would let you fold clothing vertically, particularly baby items, is a baby clothes organizer. It's made of finely meshed fabric, making it very lightweight and consists of open pockets laid in a tidy row. You simply need to fold your baby clothes to the same width as the pockets before inserting them. You can get them in sets of threes and you can buy more to fill your drawers. They will keep all the clothing in place and also make it easy for you to pick them. These organizers will also help sort your underwear, panties, bras, and even socks. They're terrific for packing in the suitcase when traveling. 7. DIY Laundry Basket Dresser Idea Instead of bunching your dirty clothes in one large bin, why not build a laundry organizer dresser? The dresser will have three columns with nine baskets labeled for different types of clothing items. It'll let you separate them neatly before they go in the washer. Cut three-quarter inch plywood for the bottom and top pieces, the sidings, and two dividers of the box. To give it more horizontal strength, cut another three-quarter inch plywood piece for the upper back. The laundry basket will slide on two by two cleats. Next, you need to mount this box on a rectangular base made of 2x4 lumber. The top surface is 3 quarter inch finished AB plywood. Extend this top piece at the front and sides for a couple of inches. 6. Color Coating Dresser for Kids A simple touch such as color coating the drawer faces with bright tints will give the dresser more character while helping you organize your kids' clothing. The same tips above for arranging clothes can be applied here. At the same time, it will add some fun elements to the bedroom. It also is something that will take years for your kid to outgrow. In this minor revamp, you'll spend about $30 for glossy paint, new metal drawer pulls, and that's it. Best of all, you can get it done within the day. Number 5. Neat DIY Drawer Dividers with Foam Boards Another drawer organizer idea for your dresser that will save you money is from DIY foam dividers. 
Begin by measuring the inside dimensions of the drawer. Then cut the foam board pieces for the four sides, bottom, and three dividers. Use a cutting mat with cutting materials with a box knife. Cut out some fabric using the foam pieces to guide you. For the dividers, cut out wider pieces that you can fold over both sides. Next, cut enough strips from a dark fabric about two inches wide that it will serve as trim for all the top edges. Lastly, attach all the fabric and trims to the foam with adhesive spray. After that, you can start installing the parts into the drawer. 4. DIY Agate Knob if you want additional storage space but don't want a bulky dresser, you could go for a smaller one and give it a more minimalistic look. One way to achieve that look is to paint the dresser white. To serve as unique and attractive accents, you can glue flat and irregularly shaped agate stones on the knobs. This design will help make the room seem less busy, and the agate knobs will add some points of interest in the otherwise bland dresser. You can find these agate stones in New Age stores and many wellness shops. 3. Dusty Blue Floral Painted Dresser Idea Maybe you're having second thoughts of bringing in a dreary-looking dresser into your bedroom. You could give it a blue floral painted finish to brighten up your room while it increases your storage space. Start by sanding all the surfaces clean, and if you want to seal a previous varnish finish, apply a stain blocking primer. Next, paint the dresser in DB Dusty Blue. Paint the top drawers with fluff and add them into the blue color. For the floral design, you can add a French ceramic floral transfer to the lower drawers after the paint is dry. The result would look like you painted the flowers yourself. 2. Keep kids' clothes organized with these cute dresser drawer labels. Drawer labels will help young kids to make sense of their clothes and teach them the value of being organized early. The labels are vinyl stickers that can attach to the plastic storage bins. They have a cute design intended for kids and are available to download for free. Even kids who can't read would know what goes where with the help of small clothing images before the text. However, you'll need a vinyl cutter like CryCut Maker with some vinyl wraps to take advantage of the image files. Before I wrap this list up, thanks for keeping playing this video. If you like what you see, care to support this channel by pressing the subscribe button under the video. It benefits nearly half dozens of people working behind the video. And let's return to our final countdown. Lastly, number one, DIY drawer dividers for large organization. Here's another type of simple DIY drawer divider that you can try. This one is for large dresser drawers that are in desperate need of some organization. These dividers are simply one quarter inch poplar wood boards that you screw to the back and front sides of the drawer with tiny L-shaped brackets. Remove the drawers and take careful measurements of the length and bottom width. After determining how you want to divide your stuff, cut the board to the drawer's length and the number you need. Typically, three rows are enough, which would need two dividers. Attach the dividers to where it would best fit your folded clothing. Conclusion. When it comes to organizing your bedroom dresser, there's a vast array of solutions available, but it all boils down to more efficient drawers, sorting the different types of clothing you have and removing items you don't need. I hope with this video, I can encourage you to start doing something about it. To learn more about how to take back control of your dresser, please visit the simphome.com link and read the full article included with the references. That's it for now. Before you leave, Support this channel by pressing subscribe button under this video. Like it, comment it on it, or share it with anyone inside your social media circle. Keep us in your subscription tab to find other clever ideas on how to revamp your home and garden. And until we meet again later sometime in the future, thanks for watching.